you didn't see that one coming. We have the line x plus y equals k. And this is the tangent line to the function y equals x squared plus 3x plus 1, where k is some unknown magical constant. So, basically, what it's asking is, what is k? Now, this might seem hard to find, but let's see how we can do it. This is a whole tangent line problem. So, what are we going to have to do first of all? Well, let's actually rearrange this into y equals mx plus b form. Man, I haven't said mx plus b since I took algebra 1. So, x plus y equals k. Now, we subtract x from both sides. We get y is minus x plus k. So, that means that if we inspect, the slope must be minus 1. How do we find the slope? Well, think about it. Our slope is, is found by taking the derivative of this and then plugging in a coordinate. So now, if we're given the slope in advance, then uh, we should be able to figure out the coordinate. And the thing is, with the coordinate, we can actually figure out k, because if you remember this formula, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, we got y minus y1 is equal to mx minus mx1. So now, adding y1 to both sides, mx minus mx1 plus y1, this whole thing is going to be our k. So we already know our m, it's minus 1, and just knowing our x and 1 and y1 will get us our k. Really cool, isn't it? So... Now, let's try this. So, taking the derivative of this, we get 2x plus 3, because the derivative of 1 is 0. So now, we want 2x plus 3 to be equal to minus 1, and find out the x-coordinate. So, that gives us x equals minus 2. Now, to find the y-coordinate, we have to do is plug in this x-coordinate here, and we get minus 2 squared plus 3 times minus 2 plus 1 is equal to 4 minus 6 plus 1, which is minus 1. So that means our coordinates are minus 2 comma minus 1. Now we get y equals mx minus mx1 plus y1. So to find k, all we need is this little guy right here. Minus mx1 plus y1. So now we get minus minus 1 times x1 is minus 2 plus y1 is minus 1. So we get minus 2 plus minus 1 or minus 3. So that means that our answer is k equals minus 3. That's it. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one.